Yeah, as far as the, the sections filming, you know, like, I mean, I had a lot of good people to, you know, reference from, and I'm watching them do their stuff and how they approached, you know, the the tricks they wanted to do and how they wanted to do them for what sections or for what ads. I mean, and I also, I come from a time of, of print ads too, you know, where a photo yeah. is also as important as a video. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, shooting photos comes, uh, it, it puts you in a different mentality, you know, like I, I, you want this photo to be cool. Um, and uh, you really think about the trick you want to do a little deeper than you think about it before a photo. Um, so a lot of the tricks that I, I wanted to do over the time came from the basis of it might be a photo maybe. Um, but linking up with Dave Payne was like changed. It was like life changing, career changing or role like path changing, you know, because this is a man that like can do it all, you know, and he skates and films and he's cool. And, um, and he's motivated, you know, extremely motivated. You know, Bo's extremely motivated too. And I, I also come from that area era where we were lucky to have Bo, you know, in Esco Zoo. I mean, driving force behind Esco Zoo, actually, if it wasn't for him, all this this footage, you know, for these, these sections wouldn't have really been out. Bo even helped with a lot with the VG stuff, you know, for Eric, for me, for Robert, for all of us. You know, he was, he was a big, big, big part of that. Um, he always had a unique eye too. I remember like Bo being really particular about how he shot things. And, you know, when he actually put sections together, I was always amazed. Like, dude, you're good at this. Like he, he, he somehow brought like um, the best out of each trick. And then with the music and everything, he just, he linked it up legit. So when I linked up with Dave Payne, I had a little bit of knowledge of this already. And you know, seeing how Bo and Dave Payne got along too, it's, you know, they're on the same page with that. So I, I love being around people that are motivated and doing what they love. You know, there's nothing more than I like than thriving with friends, you know, and that, that's what it like was like with Dave Payne and with both. But um, with Dave Payne with VG um, 14 section, he was like, hey, dude, we're going to do a profile on you. And I'm like, awesome. I'm so down. Tell me where I'll be there early. You know, and um, I end up just uh, actually Dave Payne and Randy were Spicer were uh, roommates at the time. So, I mean, I was already staying with Randy all the time. Pretty much always. I basically would live with Randy um, more or less throughout my, my teenage years and um, to early 20s. Um, and uh, just being able to skate with him whenever we wanted. And um, he had this whole um, idea that we're gonna go drive around, you know, and go to places. And I'm just gonna film this locally. We're gonna go to San Francisco, you know, different places. We, we made road trips. And we had already done the 50-50 um, the England and um, I forgot what it was, called the Pound for Pound Tour. And we, were, we linked up on that already. And I'm actually on the Pound for Pound Tour. Dave Payne brought his brother um, Rob Payne from Worship Records um, to DJ at every spot we went to. And the Sunshine Tour was like Sick. amazing. That was like, if I think of it, it's my best memories, they come from the Sunshine Tour. I mean, Josh was there and it was, I mean, everyone was, there were so many people there. I, I met Hakeem Jamo for the first time on that tour. I probably met a lot of you guys, you know, for the first time on that tour. And um, I remember we're at a, I think we're at in Detroit um, at Airborne and um, we're skating there and, and me and Dave were getting clips for the Pound for Town tour edits. And um, his brother put a record on and I remember hearing it and I'm like, damn, that song's dope. Like, and it was that uh, that song that goes like, remember me? Like that song yeah. that's in my just the profile. And yeah. um, I'm like, hey dude, what record is that? You know, and at the time I was into records too. And he's like, oh, it's uh, Blue Boy, remember me? And I'm like, dude, I like that. Like, I like that. I feel like it'd be really good for this. And that's the time we started talking about the profile and like doing these things. And I'm like, dude, that's the song. That's one of them at least. And he's like, yep. And um, we agreed immediately, and like I remember, we got home, we got to got to work, and um, we started going everywhere filming. I mean, we filmed a lot for that thing, dude, a lot. And um, I'm glad the way it turned out. I actually got to sit with Dave and do the edit the whole time too, and you know, That's laugh. Awesome. And, you know, like that that collaboration, be able to work together like that, you know, can turn out some some great things, especially if you're both really really focused on it. And um, you know, he also is another that showed me like the 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 play side and the professional side, you know, he's like, you know, play hard, but you got to work hard too. You know, like every night after we skated all day, he hit that, that the editing bay he had there, this media 300, you know, and just be tearing it up, just making VGs in front of me, dude. Like, you know, making what I looked at were my greatest memories on film um, right in front of me. So like, that was just a, an amazing experience um, to watch that. So that's, that's how that, that section worked out. And with Bo, um, it was just, that's how we vibed in Esco. We all vibe off each other, doing tricks. Um, we all pushed each other, and Bo was always there to capture it in like that special way. And making that battle, my crew. I remember we were all like, "All right, we're really gonna battle." Like, cause we come, we all come from like a 
I don't know, I'd say taggerish background, you know, because I, I used to write a lot and um, Bo definitely did. So when it comes to like battles and rap, you know, battle rap, we associate it all together. So like, hey, we're going to go hard on this. Like, we're going to go so hard that like, it's not, it's not really going to be a competition. So um, I'm pretty sure Joe wasn't really happy about that. <laughs> but 